All right, check it out. We're going to do an unboxing of a helmet that I got because I'm going to be going on a trip coming out next month, and I bought two of them. Hopefully, they'll work just fine, right? So we're going to do an unboxing of this helmet right here, which is going to be the Cena right here. Cena Outrush R Smart Motorcycle helmet and to be quite honest i don't ride here in florida with a helmet most of the time i do have helmets that i have had because i've been riding for many many years but i was looking for two helmets that weren't gonna break the bank and this one they did it i got a military discount or something like that and it came out to 284 a piece so very very excited about it because again with that budget i think i paid off like 600 bucks and I have two of them. So hopefully they work just fine, right? So you're gonna see the box right here. This is kind of what you have. That's the name right there, Outrush R. The Cena is already gonna be included into that. A bunch of information there in the box. Cena Connect, here's gonna have some of the information. This is gonna be matte black. It does come in white. This is gonna be extra large. And I'm hoping that that's gonna fit me, right? A little bit of the measuring right there, just to give you an idea. And obviously when you buy it, there's gonna be a chart there. You can measure your head and kind of come out with your measuring, right? I bought it with enough time that if it doesn't fit, I send it back and I get the right one. And here's the side of the box. It says Bluetooth 5 voice prompt inner Intercom up to 900 meters, advanced no noise control, four-way intercom, and firmware upgradable. So again, as I was doing a little bit of research on this, there's a couple different technologies out there. Obviously, one is going to be Bluetooth. This is going to allow you to connect with four different writers. Now, if you see some of the ones that are more expensive, you're probably going to say, why? Well, that has something called mesh technology or something like that, which is a totally different technology and allows you to connect with a bunch of people, right? For me, four people is more than enough. I I really don't like talking to a lot of people while I'm writing, but in this case, I'm gonna be going out of state and I wanna be able to have that capability. Okay, let's open it up. And this is kind of what you have right here. And again, we're doing this right now. I haven't opened it up at all. I haven't touched it. I haven't done nothing to it. So this is kind of what you have right there, right? Okay, so here's the helmet. It comes with this back right here, obviously to protect it. And again, that's how it looks right there out of the box okay so first of all let's take a look at this right here and i am going to mess with this a lot because i want to see how is it going to connect to me how is it going to connect to my other passenger how is it going to connect to my radio i mean there's a lot of things here that got to be figured out but again this is kind of what you have right there it has like this windscreen right here protection i'm assuming that's for the microphone and it has a cable usb c to usb a apparently and that's probably going to be to upgrade any software or anything like that. Here's the helmet right there, giving you a look from this side. Looks really nice. Actually, I like the color. It's matte, like a matte color, which is pretty awesome. I like the design. It looks like a really cool helmet. It's gonna be a modular helmet as well, so this part is gonna lift up. I never actually had a helmet like that, so I'm excited about that. A little bit of wind coming in through this side. Here's the front right here as well. It looks like this right here allows you to get some wind inside as well. You can kind of close it also bring it down for some air control has this quick detached system in the inside looks pretty decent in there here's a cena right here the profile is pretty good it doesn't stick out as much kind of small in my opinion you have your charging port right there so again kind of looks nice it doesn't look too bulky or anything i mean some of the cenas out of control how big they are this one kind of looks nice the buttons are rubber and again it feels pretty decent to touch obviously as you open it up the visor you're gonna have your sunglasses that's something that that I'm actually looking forward to. And right here, you could bring it up and down. As you can see, when it's down, the sunglasses are up. And when you bring it up, the sunglasses are down. There's a button right here that you're gonna use to open the helmet. And all right, I got an extra large, hoping that it's gonna fit me. So let me go ahead and try it out. Okay, before I put it on, I just wanna show you this, like this open. Obviously, this is gonna be the microphone right here. That's where we're gonna put that wing noise, uh, little fuzzy thing in there. So again, you can see it right there. It feels like it's easy to put it on with this up. It does feel kind of tight. So again, kind of grab it like this and kind of open it up. That's what I saw a couple guys doing it and then put it on. So, and again, a couple guys said, that it feels kind of tight oh yeah it feels tight i like this a lot okay so i like the helmet i think it's good but it feels a little bit small on me again this is the extra large i may return it and get a double xl and where it feels a little bit small on me is on my shin like actually my shin is touching the front of the helmet like if i just go like this a little bit i could touch it i don't like that i think that i'm gonna need a side bigger but overall i think it's a cool helmet for the money that you pay for it man that is definitely good let me know what you think and i saw with god is in control